Hey guys, and welcome back to Dead Space. When we last left off, we destroyed the massive great big uh, problem outside, shall we say. Uh, we lost some ADS cannons, and now we can send our long-range message. Or at least deploy the long-range antenna. USM Valor, this is Kendra Daniels on the USG Ishimura. Do not open the escape pod. Repeat, do not open that escape pod. Do you read? Um. I think they opened the uh, escape pod. Ah, oh, this is going to get worse before it gets better. Okay. So, I guess... I don't think that knocks anything loose that we can grab. I guess they made the situation worse. Daniels, what happened? Something shook the whole crew deck. What hit us, an asteroid? Those things got onto the Valor. A rescue ship. They found your escape pod. And the one that used to be Chen, it... God damn it! The Valor scrap. By the time another ship hears the SOS beacon, we'll all be dead. No, that's what I was telling you. I found an executive shuttle on the crew deck, intact. And the log says that shuttle's missing its singularity core. It can't get us home. Wait, maybe it can. If the Valor's singularity core is okay, I could salvage it, install it on that shuttle, we're fucking out of here. Where's the Valor now? It's near comms. Keep us stable. Isaac, I'll grab a suit and EVA onto the Valor. Meet me there. We'll find that core together. Let's see you see clean up their own mess. I'm saving what I can. Good man, Hammond. Good man. Right, let's go have a little bit of fun aboard the Valor. Oh, man, what a mess. Jesus. Well. All right, let's go. Man, there ain't much left to be salvaged or saved here. Jeez. Alright, well, at least this gives us another shop to... Uh, another shop? Another ship. Isaac, I'm on board. The Valor's trashed, but I can make it to the bridge. The hell was that? Uh, well, Necromorphs, Hammond. Hello, where have you been? Also, how did he get on board so fast? Uh, zero gravity. The man works quick, all right. All right. Now, one thing I will say about this place. It's crawling. Absolutely crawling with bad nicks. But that's okay. It was until a few moments ago in tip-top condition. Hey guys, let's get acquainted a little bit better. Seize your glory. What does that even mean? Seize your glory. Seize the glory. Ah, oh, hello. That's cute. Check these pods, because you never know. Oh, hello. Now we should have access to everything on this ship because. You know, this ship has nothing to do with the uh, Ishimura, so. And there's probably a lot of goodies here that I miss. First time round. Isaac, we have a problem. The Valor's carrying a 12 megaton warhead. The crash hit the torpedo bay hard. I need you to handle that nuke right away before something sets it off. Handle 12 megatons? You know I'm not a nuclear engineer, right? I don't need you to be. Just stabilize the warhead and eject it away from the Ishimura. Christ, Hammond. No one trained you to carve up monsters with a plasma cutter either. You haven't let us down yet. Ah, uh, he's got a point. He's got a point. Okay. So, before we do anything, we've got to stabilize a nuclear warhead. Um, sure. Sure. When it rains, it pours. Man, it's getting pretty warm in here. 
That's fine. Plenty of money. I guess uh, being a space marine in the uh, in this universe is pretty lucrative. You know, unless you wind up uh, dead, of course. Which, apparently, is also something that happens a lot to these guys. Look at these guys. Hey, I'm one of you. How about that? You guys died even though you... Oof. Even though you had all the armor upgrades and stuff? Okay. Maybe they didn't have the weaponry. Wow, look at this lighting. Evening. You're a quick fella, aren't you? Yeah, meet the new enemy. So these guys, in all their unpleasantness, They have uh, stasis modules. The soldiers must have had stasis units on their armor. When they were turned, those units merged right into their bodies, changed them. They're yep. working fast, Isaac. Stay sharp. So instead of stasis slowing them down, which would have been nice, it sped the fuckers up. That's not really what we're looking for, to be honest, but, you know, it is what it is. Onwards. Ooh. Anything that we can shoot or look at this side? Nope, doesn't look like it. Briefing room, you say? Let's have a little look inside here. Ooh. This place looks messy. This is Commander Cadigan to all hands. We have been boarded by hostile forces. Hostiles are alien. Repeat, alien and extremely dangerous. All personnel to arms. Fire at will. Holy shit. And yes, the marker actually is alien. And there's some proper Eldritch Nightmares out in this universe that we are absolutely going to discover in later games. Excuse me, sir. Do you not know how physics work? Alright, anything else? Any other goodies? Uh, I've used all my recording time today playing, uh, or should I say, recording uh, Front Mission, which was a hell of a good time, but man, I'm kind of really enjoying this again. Alright, what do we got? Eyes only. Priority black. Alright, attention, Commander F. Canigan from Chief of Staff, Earth Defense, Operation White Light, Theater, Aegis System, Aegis 7. Objective Deep Cleanse. Oh my. CEC vessel USG Ishimura in breach of EarthGov system isolation order. Believed to have recovered marker 3A. Special Ops has confirmed the system but unable to provide planet location. Special Ops advisory follows. Um, Exercise extreme caution. If marker 3A has been recovered, onboard infection is a credible threat. Operational orders. Shock point to Aegis system. Move to position out of local scope range and await signal from Ishimura to confirm location. Objectives. Secure marker 3A. 2. If infection is present, initiate sterilization protocol. Eurydice. 3. If infection is not present, initiate containment protocol, Apollo. 4. All personnel must, without exception, submit to full psychological examination during debriefing. Oof. So they knew something a little bit fishy was going on here. They knew. They knew about this. And you did nothing. Well, they 
tried to do something. Trouble is that nothing wasn't enough. Whoop. The hell was that? Something just done tore the battery right out. Ominous. Not only tore the battery out, broke the bloody thing. Son of a bitch. Good thing we've got a spare battery. Oh, hello. Yeah? How you like those apples? Oh dear. Oh dear. We've got a contagion. Not on my watch. That would have been way worse if we let that get out of hand. Son of a bitch. I do like the skin removal tool. That's what this is. This is a skin removal tool. You can't convince me it's anything else. I'm sorry, but that's just the way I see it. Okay, so where did my fresh bat Oh dear, where did my fresh battery go? It's a good thing as well. That we had a fresh battery. It's also a good thing this fresh battery didn't have any skin, otherwise we would have removed it. In a glorious display of interstellar combat. Mr. Clark? Hello? I, I must speak with you. Who is this? Dr. Terrence Kine. The Ishimura's chief science officer. I, I studied the marker for the church. I'm done talking to unitologists. But, but, but the planet won't rest until the marker is returned. You, you can't leave. Watch me. Ah, uh, Kine, eh? Caution. Radiation. Oof. Well, Dr. Kine. Kind of not interested in talking to you unitards anymore. Uh, I am going to save it because this bit can be, uh, how'd you say, delicate. However, out of all the uh, unitards that we uh, will come in contact with, Dr. Kine is kind of a reformed man. He's seen the error of his ways. Gee, that's a that's a pretty pretty large, twelve megaton nuclear warhead there. Hello. Yeah, we're not allowed to make these guys explode. So let's be let's be very careful. Very careful with the explodey stuff. Let's let's just let's let's just that uh, let's just put that over there. Contain all explosive materials. All right. Let's just unleash this nuclear weapon. All steady, like no need to no need to act rash. Power required to release warhead. Ah, yes. Yes, now if I was a battery pack, I might be over there. I would be over there. Alright, let's just cherry pick that. Thank you. I'm guessing all these other nukes, all these others, are not nuclear. Unless these are all unused warheads? I'm not sure. Maybe this is the only one that's armed. Right, let's go flush that warhead. Flush it. 
get as far away from the ship as possible. Now. Okay. The warhead's clear. Damn it. This doesn't add up. If the Valor was just on patrol, why bring a nuke? And if they had a target, what's out here except us? Yeah, I know. I'm downloading a munitions report right now. I'll clear your route to the engine room. Grab that singularity core and let's get out of here. Yeah, they definitely knew something was going on, didn't they? Now, most of the larger vessels in the Halo universe all carry nuclear ordnance so I wouldn't have thought it would be that unusual for a spaceship to carry nuclear weapons especially this far into the future and not just for combat either there's plenty of applications um, you know, redirecting asteroids and things like that. Plenty of uh, reasons why nuclear ordnance would be required. And especially in ship-to-ship -ship combat. When you're against, you know, ships the size of the Ishimura, for instance. And I am assuming there would be combat ships the size of the Ishimura. <coughs> Armory. Now this sounds fun, and the armory is fun. Hello. Ah, oh, bloody hell! Not one of you bastards. Right. Have some of that a minute. There we go. Let's just roast you down, and try not to burn myself to death. Uh, that was bad. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were certainly made there. Jeez. <laughs> oops. Let's do that again. Uh, without the without the oops. You dead? You better be dead. Check those corners. Something is making a gribbly mess. Oh, right, yeah, it's the uh, stasis. That's fine. So, we get some rounds, we get some more pulse rounds, get some money. Introduce your enemies to your friend! Ah, yes, motivational speech. Seize your glory. Yep. We're trying to seize our glory, I think. If that's what this means. Oh, evening. Come get some. Whoop. There we go. What do you think of that, huh? And you. Oh, yeah, you don't like that. Alright, let's get some fire. Let's put up a firewall, shall we? <laughs> Burn. Ah, oh, this flamethrower. It's too good. It, it actually is too good. My word, man. Get some health going on. Ah, oh, this is a pyromaniac's dream. You know, back when uh, myself and my mate Richard were kids, uh, we used to play, obviously, a lot of video games. Who'd have thunk it? And we used to love um, playing all the new games that came out that had flamethrowers in. You know, trying to find the game that had the best flamethrower. And for a long time, that was Turok 2. Man, that had a good flamethrower. A flamethrower is hard to get right, you know. You need to have the the animation, the sound effect, the feeling of the, the flesh melting from the very bones of your enemies. And man, it, does this game have the best flamethrower that I've ever used? Uh, yeah, I think it does, actually. I really think it does. You know, searing hot fire. I mean, you would think it would be kind of an ultimate weapon, wouldn't you? Anyway, so here we have the shooting range. Now, we can actually play a little shooting range game here. And it's a really good time. 
Now, if we get enough points, we can unlock all of these. Uh, unfortunately, as I'm sure you can imagine, there is a small fuck factor because we won't just be shooting targets. Oh no. Just shooting targets. That would be for pussies. We're, this will be a live fire exercise. Except hopefully we're not going to be shooting any farmer boys. Really? No ammo? Pretty sure. Ah, oh, how about that? Pretty sure there was ammo here. Alright, well, let's activate the shooting, shooting range. range online. Caution. Live fire exercise. Now, I don't know how much score you need. Oh, we can't get that. But it is pretty easy. Now, the only problem is... Yeah, I think we should stay behind. Yep, here we go. This is where things get a little bit more interesting. Now, obviously, we need to kind of try and prioritize the targets here. Come on. Yeah, mum. There we go. Yeah, mum. How are we doing? I think we're doing okay. Don't shoot any blue men. Only the red men. Unfortunately, we have kind of moved out of position here. I think we actually scored a blue sh kill there. Which is not great. Oh, bad, bad. Whoop, run. How are we doing? I think we're doing okay. Load. Ow. Right. Quarantine lockdown disengaged. Error. Shooting range out of service. Please contact maintenance. Ah, oh, we actually made it. Oof. That was pretty intense there. So you unlock these in succession. That was very intense. Now, from what I can understand... Here we go, Ruby Semiconductor. Very nice. Okay. I don't know 100% how that works. Like... I don't know if... We could have tried again, like, if we didn't get everything. I'm not 100% sure. Oof, right. Kind of out of health, though, which is bad. Now, let's grab up anything we can. They actually throw a lot more enemies at you than I th thought they did. It definitely got a higher score last time. I think I got like almost 2,000. I'm not sure how many you need. Maybe you just need to get 1,000. It's kind of like any more than that is really a waste. Um, because we bodied our ammo for this, unfortunately. That's okay, because we have a flamethrower. And we don't need anything, as long as we've got a flamethrower. Alright. Oh. I think we're good. So we got some shooting practice in. We earned some prizes. We had a good time. See, throwing little mini games. Um, ah, nope, that's just a reflection. Uh, into a game like this, I think it's genius. I think it's fantastic. And 
and I am all for that kind of stuff. That's why I like the Resident Evil like shooting galleries in Resident Evil 4. Ah, yes. Yes, this bit. Come on, my friend. Oh. Oh, yeah, he didn't like that. He did not like that at all. Oh, the humanity, indeed. Large med pack. Definitely have you. Oh, we got large med pack schematic as well. Did we not already have that? I'm trying. I'm actually trying. Whoop. Right. That's not a great... Wasn't a great stasis throw there. And one second, guys. And we're back. Okay, so let's try that again, shall we? Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's that's kind of what happens. Now, just imagine that that had been a hardcore run. I'm going to call it a hardcore run. Basically what it is. Ooh. Right, let's switch up to that. And slam him into that bad boy. And let's try that again, shall we? With a little bit less failure this time. <clears throat> At least that's the hope. Right. There we go. That'll do it. That will indeed do it. In fact... Seems to be a somewhat well, maybe not necessarily efficient way of doing things, but a way of doing things. We're out of medkits again, or so we thought. Yeah, we're really low on the old medkits, which is bad because medkits equal life. Alright, well, that's fine. Take the old skin stripper with us. Isaac, you hearing this? It's Chen. There, on the rig link. Did I lock him in alive? Chen's dead. You know that. I know my own fucking corporal. Chen, come in. Chen's dead, you absolute melt. Let's go and plunder the locker room before we do anything else. <clears throat> Don't know who put all these duffel bags there. If you've seen Cocaine Bear, you'll have an idea of what they're probably not full of. Credits. We do like credits. Now a thought has just entered my mind. I wonder if there is a marker fragment. Hey, Earth Defense Force has finished downloading. I have to download that again for some reason. <clears throat> Since I put my new hard drive in, Steam's forgotten where all of my games were for reasons. Even though I've moved them all to my new drive. And it hasn't forgotten where this game is, so question mark. Having to re-download all my games is painful, to say the least. Ah, save point. Just what we wanted. That is just what we wanted, because I've got to go shopping. Yay! Grocery shopping. Nothing exciting. So, we're going to drop a save here. Uh, I am going to look up and try and work out whether there is actually a marker... Um, 
on this chapter, which I'm gonna guess and say there isn't, but I don't know for sure. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.